everybody. Welcome back to Bringing the Zoo to You. I'm Maggie, an animal care specialist here at Brookfield Zoo, and today we have Quilbert. Today is a very special chat, though. We have asked all of you guys to send in all of the facts that you have learned about Quilbert because we have shared him so many times with you. So we've asked you to send in your favorite facts about him, and then we're going to share those. All right, so we've got Manelia here handling Quilbert. So as you know, you guys are very familiar with him. So I'm gonna be reading off some of the really awesome facts that you guys have learned about him all these times that we've shared him with you. And I have um, just been amazed at all the facts that you guys have shared with us and learned um, over the past few years that he's been with us. All right, so one of the first facts that you guys have shared with us is comes from Laura and she wanted us to know that Quilbert was born on World Porcupine Day and was the first prehensile tailed porcupine to be born at Brookfield Zoo. And that is correct, and that's awesome. So thank you so much for sharing that with us. He was born on July 2nd, 2018, of course, on World Porcupine Day, which was the best day for a porcupine to be born. Mm -hmm. So thank you for being born on that day, Quilbert. <laughs> um, so yeah, he was born right over in Hamill Family Play Zoo to um, Eddie and Lucia, his parents. And also we had... Ashley wanted us to know that he was born with his eyes open and he had really soft quills and it takes a few hours to several days for those quills to harden up, which is very true. Colbert was bright red when he was born and he was really soft all over his body. So it took a little bit of time for his quills to harden up and turn into these really sharp tools that he has all over his body that he uses for protection. So Quilbert was born over at Hamill Family Play Zoo and his mom, Lucia, wasn't quite giving him enough attention. So we stepped in and we kept hand rearing him um, from day one. So those are really two great facts. So thank you guys so much for sharing those with us. Um, Kath would like us to know that Quilbert is a new world animal, which is great. He is born in uh, South America, or they're from South America. And she um, let us know that his mom wasn't taking care of him, so he became reliant on his handlers, which Manelli is doing a great job um, showing off Colbert holding on to his hand, her hand. He loves peanuts, and his, um, it's one of his favorite treats, but he doesn't like cucumbers, which is very true. He, all of our animals have some favorite treats and some not-so-favorite food items, and cucumbers isn't really one of Colbert's favorites. He's a wonderful animal ambassador at Brookfield Zoo, and I think we can all agree on that. Colbert does a great job representing his species as a prehensile tail porcupine. All right, looks like he's gonna get a peanut. We'll check out how he chomps down on that. Okay, we're ready for our next fact. After that, you can get a close up of his teeth and how he's using those to munch on that peanut. And Amy would like us to know that he has iron in his teeth that make them orange. That is awesome so he has iron and um you can check out that bright orange coloration and that makes them super strong because clover is a pork or a rodent so porcupines are a type of rodent and so they have those really strong sharp teeth so that iron makes their teeth super super strong so they can chew through things much stronger than a peanut but they might chew on branches um and they have to wear their teeth down because their teeth continually grow so that's why he can chew on all these branches and he has to kind of wear them down so Amy that is a really great fact thank you so much for sharing that all right Suzanne wanted us to know that peanuts are a very high value treat mm -hmm. um, which is why we are offering them to him because we want to make sure that Colbert knows when he comes out and hangs out with us that this is a really positive experience so um, when he comes out for chats we offer him his favorite foods and we, he's getting a lot of them today. We want to make sure that he knows that all of this is positive, um, which is why we hand rearing him and getting that up close experience with, um, with all of us and making sure that he was having a good time uh, was really important. And that's why having that unique experience with him when he was at a really young age makes him such a solid animal ambassador. All right, guys, man, you guys have really been doing a good job listening and absorbing all of his facts. So... All right, Don would like us to know um, how they protect themselves with his quills. All right, so he's got these sharp quills almost uh, over all every inch of his body. And we also want, or Kirsten would like to know how they don't launch their quills. 
So that is great. It's a really common misconception that porcupines shoot their quills. So you guys have been listening and these porcupines do not shoot their quills. So these stay on his body, but they fall out similar to like how our hair falls out every day. Porcupine's quills are just modified hair. They're just really sharp versions and they use that for protection. So since he's a new world porcupine, his quills are barbed. Um, so if a predator were to try to attack him, um, they would get caught up in his quills, they would fall out, but those quills would get hooked into a predator's skin. So that is exactly how his, predator, or his quills work and how they help him protect him. All right, so right now, Manelli is holding on to him, but he can also climb around in trees. So that was kind of our next fact that um, was to be shared with us, is that how they can use their claws and their his tail to climb around in branches. So I think once he, <laughs> but he also uses his hand not only for just climbing, but also for holding on to food. So I think if he makes a choice to kind of scoot over to the tree, <laughs> and wrap his tail right around Manelia's shoulder. Um, so there he goes. He uses his front paws to grab onto branches. He's really well adapted for living up in trees. They're an arboreal species, so that means that they live high up in the trees. He uses his tail, all four of his paws, and that helps him balance high up in the treetops. He's a very loud eater. <laughs> So I, I think you guys have done a great job of sharing all your facts. Uh, we love reading everybody's comments. Every time we do you know, a chat about any animal, you guys are all so knowledgeable about so many of the species that we have here at the zoo. But I do think the most shared fact about Colbert that we had was that he was so adorable, <laughs> so cute. Um, everybody loves him, which I couldn't agree with more. Um, he is definitely one of my favorite animals here. And his cuteness just astounds me every single day. He's got the biggest nose, and we just love him. Something you might not know about Quilbert, um, something that I will share, is that we have a nickname for him. Something that I call him. I call him QQ or Q. Aww. So a lot of our animals have maybe nicknames that we call them behind the scenes. Um, so there's a little fact that everybody might not know about him, um, is that he has a nickname. Even though Quilbert is an absolutely adorable name. <laughs> How much does he currently weigh? We're like eight pounds, nine pounds. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So does Manelia have like a really, really strong left arm? You definitely get tired after a while, and sometimes you have to hook your elbow into your hip. That helps, but that's also why we have the program tree, so he can um, go on the tree, but also letting him run around on the ground. He has the choice to scoot around and come and greet us. I think my favorite fact is that he can run. Yeah, he is quite speedy. He can scoot around, so they're pretty fast on the ground. They're most comfortable high up in the treetops. Um, but he is, he's a pretty fast little runner, and that's a good way for us to get him exercise. He also runs in a running wheel. Um, that's also another way that we get him exercise here at the zoo. So everybody, please continue to share facts with us or just anything you want us to know about Quilbert or why you like him so much. Manelia, what's your favorite fact? Ooh, I think my favorite is... I think their tail that they can hold on, their, that they're prehensile tail porcupine. Not many animals have prehensile tails. <laughs> yeah, it was really cool to see how he wrapped yeah. it around that big branch uh -huh. and just and hung he wraps on. around our arms and our neck sometimes. <laughs> and and it, his quills don't hurt us because they're facing, they're growing outward. Ah. I think a lot of people um, really engage. Probably the cutest part about him is that his nose, but I love his quills inside of his ear because <laughs> ears can be a very vulnerable place for an animal like this um, if a predator tries to get them so he has quills that protect inside of his ear they're so tiny mm -hmm. <laughs> all right well thank you all so much um, it's been so great to have you all participate 
um, in one of our Bringing the Zoo to You chats. Um, we value you so much for watching us, watching all of our chats every single day. Um, and we look forward to hearing from you again. And thank you so much for supporting Brookfield Zoo, and we'll see you again.